Hi everyone. I'll just wait for everyone to join so that, you know, no one misses anything. But I hope you're all well. <laughs> Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this show is going to be really, really helpful. It's on Summer Skin SOS, which I feel like a lot of us um, are feeling at the moment. So yeah, hopefully this show will be really informative as usual. Um, but yes, lots of you joining now. So thank you so much for joining guys. Um, I hope you're all well. Let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from. Um, if you're really excited for the show, give me some hearts. Um, can you all hear me and see me okay? Let me know if you can't, uh, cause that would be a bit disastrous, wouldn't it? If I'm chatting away and none of you can hear a word I'm saying. <laughs> I can see some hearts coming in now, so that's good. Right guys, so as I was saying before, today's show is about skin, for, like sorry, summer skin SOS. And we do have a great offer on as well, um, which I'll tell you in a second. But for the first time, I'm flying solo today. So do bear with me. I don't have Catcher in the wings today. She's actually at a wedding, having a wonderful time, I'm sure. Um, but it does mean that um, on the chat function, I do want you guys to be um, still really, really interactive as normal. Um, but I will be answering the questions for you um, as much as I can if I don't get round to you I'm super super sorry um but there I'll send uh, I'll tell you an email that you can email it to if I don't get round to answering your questions at the end so it's going to be a bit educational a bit Q&A um so yeah definitely do pop your um your questions in um and yeah um this should be a really good show I hope um but yes so the offer today, as with all of these shows, is 20% off the products that I'm gonna be chatting to you about. So it's the Summer Care Essentials. So the Summer Essentials for taking care of your skin, particularly if it needs a bit of SOS. Um, so I have got the lovely Tally, who is going to be um, pinning um, that, uh, that offer there for you. So the code is hot stuff great code um, and that will get you 20% off for the next 24 hours um, and that will be off um, a lot of the products that I'm going to be chatting to you about um, and maybe some little extra ones that I don't but they're all the um, summer essentials um, that we would suggest to getting your skin back on track so the link is there as well for 24 hours 20% off with the code hot stuff okay so Summer skin, obviously, nor well, I say obviously, normally, a lot of the time, if you've got a skin condition, it's usually better in the summer, isn't it? Like, I know for me, like, my psoriasis gets a lot better in the summer, particularly, like, for psoriasis sufferers, like, the, the, the actual sunlight is actually really good, um, within reason, obviously, like, we don't want to be unsafe, but generally, our skin tends to be um, a lot better in the summer. However, there are a lot of skin conditions that can also arise during summer. Um, and that can be for many different reasons. Of course, the heat, sun exposure, traveling. Let's not forget that when we're on a plane or when we're just traveling in general, whether it's a car or a train, our skin can get quite like dehydrated, for instance. Um, we're wearing sunscreen more often. Um, your skin might get oilier as well. So don't forget that your skin can change with the seasons. Um, and things like going from hot to cold. So, you know, air conditioning at this time of year and things like that. So there are a lot of factors going on um, with how our skin is going to respond at this time of year. So if this is speaking to you, then this is the show for you. I'm gonna chat about a few different main skin concerns that do come up. But like I said, if you've got any questions, 
pop them into the chat and I will try and get round to as many as I can. I'm going to be stopping at intervals to answer some of your questions. So definitely do pop them in. Um, before we do, I can see that um, LF has just popped a question in. So um, I struggle with smile lines, dark area around this area. Is there anything you can recommend? Yeah, so normally when we get um, lines in certain areas around our skin, that can be a sign of dehydration. Um, darkness can be down to, again, like pigmentation. So when we go out in the sun for long periods of time, that sets off the melanin within our skin and that's what makes you tan. And it's essentially like a bit of like your skin trying to protect itself. So that's why it goes darker. Um, but obviously there are um, certain things that obviously we want to avoid, that like we don't want to damage the skin. You know, when we have um, UV rays hitting us, that is going to cause cellular damage in the skin. So vitamin C is really, really great for helping you to protect you from this. Um, of course, our rosehip oil as well. Regular exfoliation sun protection above all else absolutely um, and of course hydration so our bat's life hydration serum would be really good there so there's a few products there to kind of um get you thinking about what you can incorporate into your routine to kind of help with that um, if you do if you are still struggling or you're not sure how to incorporate them into a routine and things like that we have got our free consultation service as well so do always book in um, for a chat we will offer 30 minutes and 10 minutes Okay, right, on to the main topic of the show. So the first uh, main concern with, um, that comes up a lot with um, sort of like summer SOS is sun exposure, of course, or if you accidentally have too much sun exposure and you accidentally burn or get that, you know, that um, reddening to the skin. So of course, like the main thing I'm going to say is wear your SPF. Um, making sure that when we're outside, particularly for long periods of time, that you are wearing your SPF, but also topping it up. Um, between like every two to three hours, you should be topping up that SPF. Uh, particularly if you're going on holiday, of course, um, making sure that if you're also like ever feeling like um, hot and like you're, you're starting to see a bit of redding in the skin, just get that SPF on. Even if it's only been like an hour, just get that protection on your skin. I definitely found that and I'm an olive skin so I don't burn that easily but I think probably because that you know we have been under so many restrictions for for two years that actually when we go away on holiday now it's like my skin almost like wasn't used to it so there was definitely points in the day where I was like oh I need to get a little bit more on my chest I need to get a bit more on the, like the tops of my shoulders and things um so yeah definitely just make sure that you are topping up that SPF and make sure that you are wearing it when you're exposing your skin to the sun um one thing, if you live in the UK, you'll know that we do have quite a bit of warm weather at the moment. Um, so what I found really, really helpful is one, of course, drinking lots of water and two, cooler showers and um, to the point where it's actually cold. Um, but this can help with, you know, um, particularly if you've got sunburn, but even like just sun exposure, your body temperature is naturally going to rise, but also like your skin, particularly if you are like um, rosacea prone and things like that, um, it's really good just to cool your body down. So I'm not saying you have to have like a freezing cold shower, but definitely cooler so you can actually feel the coolness and it will cool you down as well. Um, but water, of course, is so, so important. And not just because obviously it's gonna hydrate you, but it's it's actually about your skin's barrier. So when we look at the, the structure of the skin, you've got that sort of like brick and mortar sort of um, effect where the bricks are like are your um, skin cells and then the mortar is your um, I suppose natural cement that holds your skin cells together. And this is naturally made up of your lipids, water, and um, amino acids. So it is really, really important that we keep that uh, resilient barrier and that's where hydration is really key. You know, when we go on holiday, yes, we're gonna indulge a little bit more. We're probably gonna have a few more drinks than we would do normally. And you know, like the, the sun exposure as well is very dehydrating to the skin. So do make sure that you're drinking lots of water and also a hydrating serum. I mean, I love our Back to Life Hydration Serum anyway, um, but I literally was like, 
slapping it on um as well so yeah definitely make sure you're doing that um but as I was saying before, I think I mentioned about um, the rose hip and uh, vitamin C just now to the first question that I answered. Um, but these are two really important products when it comes to sun exposure because one, the rose hip oil is super healing and super regenerative, and it's got all those lovely carotenoids. I'll just show you here. Lovely little rose hip. Give me some hearts if you love this product. And I'm expecting to see quite a few because this is obviously what we're known for. Um, but the rose hip has it basically has these great healing properties so it speeds up your skin's natural healing process so if you do get sunburn or you've had a bit too much exposure to the sun this will really help the repair process of your skin and um, you can even mix it into like your moisturizer or body cream um as well as an extra bit of like repair but yeah definitely um think about taking some of the rose hip and we actually do it in a travel size as well so if you're thinking about going on holiday and you don't want to take the full bottle we do it in travel size too um, and then vitamin c so the vitamin c booster vitamin c is something that we should definitely all have in our skincare routine it just depends on like formula when it comes to like reactions and things like that because vitamin c itself can be quite unstabilized so that's why the formulation is really really important you want something that is oil soluble. Oh, oh, sorry getting my tongue um, twisted then. Uh, you want something that is oil soluble, not water soluble, because the water soluble ones um, making it, it won't be as stabilized. So this one is oil soluble and it's a stabilized version of um, vitamin C. So this is what you really, really want. Um, one or two drops mixed into pretty much anything. You can apply it directly onto the skin. You can mix it into your serum, your moisturizer, your SPF. Um, it will actually further enhance what your SPF is doing for your skin as well so of course SPF is going to um, like reflect reflect the rays I don't know what's happening with my tongue today it's like getting super twisted it will reflect the rays and then vitamin C is going to help with the free radicals that come from UV rays so that cellular damage that happens if we're not protected so um, vitamin C is a really high antioxidant and it will help to um, basically stabilize a free radical without becoming a free radical itself so that's why we all need antioxidants but vitamin c is the biggest one and the most powerful as well that you can have in your skincare at the moment so yeah definitely have a think about that as well and of course our spf so your british summertime spf 30 it's a zinc oxide um, formula um, and it really will help to reflect those rays and giving you that full protection it is broad spectrum as well we do it in two different sizes you've got this one which i normally take like just for my face like in my handbag and things like that and then you've got the double one which is the 75 mil um and actually i took i think i took about four because i was so concerned about like running out and i didn't even end up using them at all um, and i was topping up like every two hours um when i was um outside in the sun so um that's the spf so that's sunburn and sun exposure. I am now gonna take a break to look at some of your questions. So let me have a look here. Um, Rosie, vitamin C booster, good for rosacea. If so, how to introduce to routine? So yeah, our vitamin C would still be absolutely fine if you've got rosacea. Um, always remember that we have got a 90 day returns policy. So if something doesn't suit you for whatever reason, we know how temperamental sensitive skin can be. So if something doesn't suit you, just pop it back um, to us and you'll get a full refund or an exchange. So always remember that. Um, but it's definitely worth trying because as I was saying before, it's about the formulation. It's actually really difficult for your skin to react to a vitamin C. Um, so that's why formulation is really critical because if it's water soluble and it's not stabilized enough, then you're more likely to react, particularly if you're a sensitive skin. But if it's oil soluble, it's less likely to react. And remember, we test all of our products in independently on people who also have sensitive skin to make sure that they definitely are suitable. So we're doing everything that we absolutely can to make sure that they are suitable for sensitive skin using kind ingredients and um, all that lovely stuff. So yeah, hopefully um, that will be worth you trying as well, Rosie. Okay, next one. 
Daria, hello to you. Um, does one need to remove makeup in order to top up SPF? That's a really good question. Um, it depends where you are. So I would say, yeah, you need, you do need to, this is where it gets really, really tricky with SPF. Um, I must admit that when I'm on holiday, I do not wear makeup until the evening. I literally go barefaced. I've got my SPF on and then I'm out and about during the day. Um, when I'm at home in the UK, obviously we don't get as strong rays here. Apart from at the moment when we are literally having, you know, um, all this lovely hot weather like I was in Spain or, or something like that. And I think, again, it depends on like how often you're going out of the house as well. So if you're going out of the house for like two hours and you've got your SPF on, but then you're not going out for the rest of the day, I wouldn't suggest that you would need to top up. Um, but if you're someone that is um, working in a hotter climate all day, um, it might even be worth, you know, um, depends on if you need to wear like a full coverage of makeup because you can just wear like SPF and then put like some concealer on and a bit of you know like blusher and things like that and then maybe just um, refresh your skin like during the day and then top it up again and just take a little bit of makeup with you I would probably say less is definitely more and um, when it comes to hotter weather and topping up your SPF so it really does depend on how often you're out in the sun um, if you're if, if it's also you're out side like all day or if you're at work all day for instance and then you're coming home again like you're if you're going to be like inside working as well like it might not necessarily be necessary to to keep topping up um but yeah it might even be worth just going a bit bare face with a bit of like concealer mascara and things like that if if um that's what you want to do and then topping up during the day if you need to um but yeah, just depends on what you're doing. So I hope that was helpful. Um, and that was the same question as Daria, no worries. Um, but C compatible with breast. So our vitamin C is compatible with breastfeeding. I can't obviously say that for every um, other brand's formula, because obviously I don't know the formula, but yes, our vitamin C is suitable. They actually don't have um, essential oils in them. So it would be absolutely suitable for you to use during breastfeeding. Um, and then Michelle, I'll uh, um, leave Michelle as the last question before I move on. So Michelle, will British summertime become available in the US? I really hope so, Michelle. We really, really do. Um, at the moment, it is down to shipping restrictions. If you came over here and purchased it here, which we'd love to have you, so let us know. Um, but if you came over here, purchased it and took it back in your suitcase, it would be fine. The fact that we are would be shipping it over in bulk to our US warehouse, um, that's where um, the restrictions are. So I believe they see it as a medical um, product or something like that. Don't quote me on that. But there is definitely some shipping restriction there and that's the reason we can't get it over to you at the moment. But, you know, don't say never. I'm hoping that there, we will be able to get over that barrier at some point and um, we'll be able to offer it in the, in the US because we would love for you guys to try it. So I think you just need to come over here, Michelle, and try it and take it back with you. That's what I would say. <laughs> All right, so before I move on, just a reminder of the offer today. So that is 20% off with the code hot stuff. It is pinned for you um, in the comments and there is a link to all of those products so they're all there for you. Um, also, don't forget you can minimize me and take me shopping with you. So don't feel like you need to stay on this page. You can absolutely minimize me. I won't go anywhere. I'll just be in a little box in the bottom of your screen. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, just pop them in. Um, right, next um, sort of skin concern that comes up with um, like summer SOS is prickly heat. Does anyone suffer with prickly heat? I actually have um, a close friend who does suffer from that. Um, and there are a few things that can help, but it is a really tricky, tricky 
um, condition to uh, to manage, um, particularly because it's basically when your sweat ducts um, get blocked and obstructed, and um, that can be quite difficult because essentially you will just need to try and not sweat, which can be really difficult in hotter climates. So. Um, and it kind of comes up like like a rash, so like little red bumps, and they tend to be like tiny little raised red bumps, and they can be quite itchy as well. So it's all about cooling down the skin, keeping yourself cool as well. So um, wearing loose clothing, um, cool showers, a hundred percent would be great. Um, making sure that you know you're. Um, being, I was going to say being as clean as possible, but that kind of goes without saying. But um, basically, like, you know, most of us will tend to have like like one shower or one bath a day. Um, but actually, in these hotter months, I've definitely been having them in the evening as well as the morning. Um, evening, particularly just because it helps to cool my body down, particularly if I'm feeling quite warm. Um, I always tend to come back from um, a dog walk quite late and I'm feeling quite warm at the moment. So then I'll just jump in the shower and just cool that body temperature down. Um, and it actually gives you a better night's sleep as well, which I think particularly when it gets quite warm, some of us can struggle to sleep too. So I think that um, would be really, really beneficial whether you have prickly heat or not is the cooler showers in the evening and cooler showers in the morning as well to help wake you up. Um, but prickly heat is really common, you know, it's it, it literally, um, it's 30% of people suffer with it. So that's quite a, a big portion of us. So um, it's, it's, it, but it's one of those things that are still really, really tricky to manage. Like some people try and take antihistamines to help with it as well. Um, but yeah, it is quite tricky when you're trying to avoid sweating. What I would say is to kind of further help with um, with prickly heat on the skin, depending on where you get it, um, obviously is um, a gentle shower gel as well, one that isn't going to like irritate the skin. We've got a really lovely one that's called um, Gentle Genius. Um, it uses um, a konjac sponge that you can just get the lava with. Um, but just use a really gentle shower gel that isn't going to like irritate and dry out your skin. Um, and then um, for cleansing on the face, of course, like something like Middle Mist 7 is brilliant. Um, and particularly if you feel like you need a bit of a refresh during the day, we do this in the travel size as well. And um, particularly if you're going to work out as well, that this that the travel size in your gym bag is brilliant it's a really like cooling um sensation to the skin when you apply this cream just because it's a cream not because it's got any cooling components to it but um it has a um, really calming um properties to it as well and the camellia extract in it helps with um your moisture barrier so it's really high in vitamin e so yeah that that would be a really really good one and like I said, sweaty workout, get that sweat off of your skin as soon as you can. There are two chemicals within sh sweat that can really irritate the, s the skin and probably do set off things like prickly heat as well. And that's urea and ammonia. So make sure you are um, getting the sweat off your skin as soon as possible using um, a really gentle shower gel um, and things like that. Um, and then of course, how can we forget the brand new product that we have launched, which is Century Flower. Um, so I was a user of the old formula. Let me know if you were an old um, user as well. But I really do love this reformulation. And the fact that it's got these added benefits, which when we're talking about summer skin SOS, this is really, really important because we get dehydrated, our skin barrier can become a bit impaired and this is what's going to help with that. Um, so you've got hyaluronic acid, which really helps to rehydrate the skin. Essentially, we're replenishing our own natural hyaluronic acid. I can see so many hearts for this product. <laughs> so I hope you're all really enjoying the new version. Um, and then you've also got inulin. So inulin is our prebiotic that we use. And prebiotics are so important for your skin's barrier because it feeds the good bacteria on your skin. So much like your gut, we have got good and ba bad bacteria in there. And prebiotics feed the good bacteria whilst probiotics are replacing the good bacteria. So this is really gonna help with um, support your um, microbiome on the skin. And um, it's 
great at cooling down the skin. Now, top tip, if you do have prickly heat or even rosacea um, or any sort of like irritations during summer, pop this in the fridge, spritz it over your skin when you need it and oh my God, it will instantly just cool you down but you you know that you're getting added benefits into your skin as well. Yes, you can use it on top of SPF and makeup as well. Um, it will just help to rehydrate. You might get a little bit of like a barrier between those kind of products, but it will still get there. And it also, it gives you that instant sort of relief, partic particularly if you've been leaving it in the fridge as well. So yeah, cool showers, cool century flower tonic, cleansing, um, and trying to keep cool where possible and, and using, um, sorry, wearing um, loose fit clothing. Um, and there are our tips for prickly heat. So next um, set of questions before I go on to the final um, main skin concern that we get during summer. So let me have a look at you all. Da, 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 da. Emma, will you be selling the vitamin C in a bigger bottle mine lasts less than a month and it's a pain yeah I know so never say never Emma that's all I can say watch this space who knows will we um do a bigger bottle of this will we do different products with it that further help the skin who knows stay tuned that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> um what else have we got Rosie will you bring out a deodorant my pie skincare routine would be complete oh bless you you know what I would love for us to do a deodorant that would be brilliant wouldn't it um I must admit I am actually using a really good natural deodorant if you're interested so I used to use a brand called wild and I did really like wild great scents all really natural love them but for me I still kept getting like smell from sweat and things like that and uh, that's what I can really really struggle with sometimes and obviously natural deodorants are going to naturally make you sweat but well, they're not going to make you sweat sorry they will uh, still allow you to sweat because we need to sweat it's part of the detoxification and getting rid of all the um you know, toxins in our body, we need to do that. Much like when we go to the toilet and things like that, we need to be able to excrete those toxins. Um, so um, the one that I have been using is called, I, th I think you spell it N-U-U-D or N-U-D-D. I'll have to look it up for you. But um, honestly, they are the only ones that I, you literally put it on and you won't smell for like three days. It's brilliant. Like I would highly, highly recommend until we bring out our own, of course. But um, just so that, you know, you're not going away with nothing. That's something that I would really recommend because it's really helped me. So it might help you as well. Um, but yeah, the fact that you literally just put it on and leave it for three days and you, and you don't smell um, is brilliant. So definitely recommend that one. Um, what else have we got? Um, Kari. Or is it Carrie? I'm terrible at pronouncing people's names. I really do apologize. Um, I keep having small breakouts when using this. Is there something I can do to minimize it? Oh, Century Flower, okay. Oh, interesting. So are you using the new one or the old one? Because the new one does have this um, uh, magnesium complex to it, which should help with breakouts. But if you're finding that you are breaking out, maybe it's just a little bit too, maybe it's like almost like too hydrating for your skin. So your skin's kind of feeling a bit overwhelmed by the hydration maybe. Um, but it would also be good to know what you're doing in the rest of your routine um, for me to kind of really properly advise you. So maybe um, book in for a um, free skin consultation and we can chat about that in a bit more detail. Um, I do quite like having a bit of a chat about that so I can really get to the nitty gritty of why you might be breaking out. Um, so I've got availability this week, Holly's got availability this week as well. Um, so yeah, definitely book in and um, we do like 10 minute and 30 minutes. So if you wanna have a quick chat with us and let's um, try to get down to why you might be breaking out, whether it is Century Flower, if that's the newest product that you have um, incorporated into your routine and it's not something else, um, like for instance, is it like the warmer weather that might be um, contributing to the breakouts and things like that? Um, then we can have a look at other alternatives. But yeah, definitely book in a, um, for a consultation and we can chat about it. Um, 
Okay. Oh, you did say new one. Yeah. So yeah, definitely booking a consultation, Carrie. Um, and then let's do one more before I move on to the next one. I will come back to more questions, so don't worry. Um, Deb, what is the difference between vitamin C booster and the bioregenerate? Okay. So the rosehip oil has no vitamin C in it whatsoever. Um, however, they are both antioxidants. So let me describe both of them to you. So the um, rosehip oil is an inactive form of vitamin A. So it's not an active form like retinol is, it's an inactive form. It would only become active if you ingested it, which I wouldn't suggest doing because I doubt it would taste very nice. But um, essentially what this will do is, is it's going to help to repair and regenerate the skin. Vitamin C is not going to repair and regenerate, but it is going to help with, in the same way as this will in, in terms of antioxidants, is that it is going to help with fighting those free radicals. So both of them will definitely do that. What vitamin C will do is it will get into the melanin within your skin and help to break up any sort of like congested areas. So if you do have bits of like pigmentation on your skin and things like that, vitamin C is really great for that. Rosehip oil will help in some regard because it will help to speed up the skin's natural healing process. Um, but in and, and fact, you can actually mix these two together, which will further enhance what each other is doing. So you can always do that as well. But there are definitely differences and our rosehip does not have vitamin C in it. They're very different. I hope that answers your question. Right, okay, final um, part of this summer skin SOS is skin conditions. So who here has a skin condition that actually gets worse in the summer? Which is weird because like normally it um, they tend to get better in the summer months and then worse in winter. But actually um, th um, skin conditions like rosacea and eczema do actually get worse in the summer. And that can be down to so many different things, as I was saying at the beginning. You know, the fact that heat can almost make us a bit itchy, it, particularly if you've got allergies like hay fever, that can onset things like eczema. Um, heat, of course, for rosacea sufferers can be a big um, a trigger for it. Um, and then, of course, you know, like wearing sunscreen more, and obviously that can like irritate um, eczema as well. Particularly if your eczema is tend to be set off by stress, and then you've had a flare up, and then you're putting sun cream on, it can just be a lot for someone um, who is is going through um, a skin condition in summer. So the important things are very similar to what I've already spoken about, like wearing like loose fitted clothing, um, making sure that um, you know you're you're staying hydrated. Hydrated. Um, omega-3. Omega-3 is still really important, not just in summer, because I speak a lot about, sorry, summer, in winter. Um, I speak a lot about it in winter because it's about supporting your skin's natural barrier. But it's still really important during the summer months as well, particularly if you do get a skin condition flare up in the summer. So omega-3 is something that our skin naturally does need, but it also can't produce it naturally on its own. So we then do need to quite often supplement. So if we're not getting in enough from our diet, like oily fish and flax seeds and chia seeds, then um, a good omega-3 supplement is really important. So Bear Biology do a great one. They're friends of ours. We would highly recommend. Um, but yeah, omega-3 is, is another one, particularly if you've got a skin condition like eczema. That one um, really does um, help um, from an internal perspective cool showers, making sure that you're keeping these areas moisturized as well um, can be really, really beneficial. Um, I think I was even saying with um, prickly heat as well and sunburn, our after sun is brilliant. And I didn't mention that before, completely forgot, so I do apologize. But our after sun um, has, it's like a cream gel um, sort of texture. And I actually tend to wear this one um, during the summer on my body because our poly plum body cream is just a bit too rich for me in the summer. I literally just tend to sweat it out. So um, in, the, in the winter months, it's brilliant because my skin is a lot drier, but I still need a moisturizer during the summer months as well because I can be very prone to um, psoriasis on my body too. So um, if you've like eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, if they do flare up in summer, the, the um, after sun is brilliant for that. If you've got sun, um, if you've had sun exposure, uh, sunburn, prickly heat, 
This one um, is absolutely lovely and cooling. You can keep it in the fridge as well. That will be even nicer for your skin as well, just to kind of cool that down. Um, it's got some lovely great ingredients in there as well, like oatmeal, which is just so soothing for the skin. Um, and you can even mix a bit of the rosehip oil into it if you really wanted to. But um, yeah, incredibly soothing, keep it in the fridge and that would be, be really great on eczema um, as well. Just as long as it's not like oozing and you know, quite severe, um, you need to kind of let that settle down first and then pop it on, but it will really help to with itching and things like that. Um, also, particularly for, like for rosacea sufferers, um, particularly with like um, you know like the heat that we get from sun at this time of year as well um, is the instant karma serum which is absolutely brilliant if you uh, want to like support your barrier if you are redness prone rosacea prone um, if you get quite sensitive skin hypersensitive skin even like eczema dermatitis this is going to help support your natural barrier. So it's got ceramides in there and ceramide, ceramides make up your natural lipids. So as I was saying before about that natural cement that we have that holds our skin cells and gives us that resilient barrier, um, lipids are made up of ceramides, cholesterol and free fatty acids. So ceramides are a really important part of your skincare routine if you've got an impaired barrier or know that you do tend to get one during the summer months or even winter months, but instant karma would be your best friend. So that's definitely something to think about incorporating, um, particularly if you get a skin flare up during the summer, make sure you have it in there for summer and it'll help to soothe everything down. Um, another product um, that actually I've spoken to um, a couple of women before who have been swimming. So whether that is in the sea or in like a swimming pool um, is our Light Fantastic. So Light Fantastic is this one here. Again, it does have the ceramides in it that are in the Instant Karma, but the, um, but the oil also has um, cacao in there, which um, helps to relax really stressed skin. So if your skin does get quite stressed during summer, um, then this one is a really, really lovely one. Suitable for pretty much all skin types because it's our lightest oil that we do. You could even wear it during the day as an extra barrier, but actually you could use this when you're going out into like, um, into like the swimming pool or into the sea. Um, of course, like, um, if, if you're going out into the sea, your SPF will also really help to repel that water as well. Because again, this is like oil based um, and it needs to be. So it stays on the surface of the skin, giving you that protection. But um, essentially oil and water repel, as we know. So that's why um, a really nice oil is, is, is really helpful, particularly like when you're going into chlorine in swimming pools as well. That can be really irritating on the skin. So that's where the Light Fantastic can be absolutely brilliant. Um, and then a couple of extra ones that I thought of before this show is that, of course, a lot of us do tend to break out. Why is that? Because it's um, higher humidity, which means we tend to have oilier skin. And particularly for some of us who are so used to like drier skins um, in winter, when it comes around to the summer months and we've actually got oilier skin and we're getting a few breakouts. I'm literally one of those people. Like I've had like a few breakouts on my forehead recently. And it, it it can be like, it's really frustrating, isn't it? Because you're like, oh, well, I've had like um, really nice skin for such a long time and now I'm breaking out. Why is this? And it could literally be because your skin's just a little bit oilier and actually maybe your moisturiser isn't... Um, is too heavy, it's not light enough for your skin at the moment. So that's where, much like we would change from a jumper to a t-shirt or a vest, we are going to a lighter moisturizer. So always remember that we do, we can change our skincare with the seasons. So um, if you are on the dehydrated side and you normally have a richer moisturizer in the, um, in the winter months, go down to the uh, Back to Life Hydration Serum and the Pioneer Moisturizer, that's our lightest moisturizer. And that will make sure that your skin's nicely hydrated but it's not feeling overwhelmed. Um, if you do really struggle with breakouts in general because you do have an oilier skin, then the um, All Becomes Clear Serum is brilliant for that. Um, it will really calm down inflammation if you get any redness around the blemishes, but it's also got like um, a nice, um, antibacterial property to it from the Copaiba, but it will not dry your skin out. It's even got a little bit of hyaluronic acid in there to make sure it doesn't happen. Um, but it's a really nice product for breakouts um, if you do suffer with those during the summer months. Um, I actually did um, use this a little bit on holiday and um, just to try and help prevent breakouts, which it did work. And then when I got home, I tend to get breakouts. So 
there we go. I should have carried on using it, shouldn't I? Um, but yes, so always remember that as well. Change your skincare with the seasons. So that was the last sort of bit on the summer skin um, SOS. Like we kind of focused on the main skin concerns that tend to crop up during summer. Um, but I'm just going to have a look at some more questions to see um, what other ones came in afterwards. So... Um, is it Sania or Sania? I, I'm really sorry about pronouncing names. I'm really honestly terrible at it. Um, I actually really struggled when I was younger. So it's one of those things. But um, can you please advise me on what I can do about for dark circles? It's a major problem. I hear you on this. I've got concealer on today to try and um, conceal mine. Um, dark circles are really tricky and I'm not going to um, be really dishonest about this. They are really tri tricky to get rid of. And even with like skincare products, um, I think that there are certain things that you just can't avoid. So sometimes they're hereditary and even as frustrating as that can be, it is a genetic makeup that um, makes us have um, dark circles. It can also be the um, structure of your bone structure around the eyes as well like if they're deeper set and things like that naturally then um, it's almost like a shadowing that makes us have dark circles so there can be loads of different factors as to why you've got dark circles and um, if you want to book in for a free consultation please do do so and we can have a chat about um, you know certain things that can help but one thing that I would definitely say is um, making sure that you're getting enough circulation around that area because we honestly we don't get enough this area here is as thin as a piece of tissue so that's also why we're quite prone to getting um, dark circles so um, what I would say is you know like cold um, tea bags are brilliant so whether it's black tea or green tea uh, once you've used them pop them in the fridge and set them over your eyes later on and that's a brilliant brilliant way. The caffeine really helps to boost the circulation. When you're applying eye products, you can, using your ring finger, you can do like a little massage motion up and around the orbital bone and that just gets the blood flow going. Um, you can also use, you know, like cooler products will help to kind of shock the skin. So you know how if we jumped into a freezing cold pool and your skin can kind of go like a bit red, that's because that the blood is rushing to the surface to help warm you up and that's what it will do around that area as well. Obviously be really, really gentle because, you know, it's a very delicate um, part of your of your skin. Um, but, you know, things that have been in the fridge are great. So even things like um, System D. So System D, you can keep this in the fridge and it's got ceramides, which help to strengthen the structure, uh, the, the skin around your eyes. But also it has this ceramic head on it, which is cold all the time. So if you put it in the fridge, it'll be even cooler. And then you're applying it to your eyes and that's like an instant relief there as well. But also it will kind of help to boost that circulation for you as well. So a few little tips there to try and help but if you do feel like you want to chat um like i said we offer free skin consultations 30 minutes and 10 minutes so um you can book in a time to suit you we've got availability this week with myself and holly so um yeah definitely do book in for that if you feel you need it um let's have a look uh does the new glow drops work similar as the original blonde bronze one um so giving a tone as well or more like a highlight i would say they're more like a highlight like they um they definitely won't tint the skin they give it more of like a sheen um much like how mine is doing a little bit like around here um and that is um the champagne one so um the bronze one will definitely give you a tint and it will definitely enhance a tan if you've been on holiday um but yeah the other two which is champagne and rose gold depending on the undertones in your skin so yellow and pink um it will definitely be more like a highlight um if you've ever used mac products before they had a product called strobe i don't know if they still do it but it basically gave you this like luminosity to the skin and that's what those two will definitely do um what else let's have a look for more I love your skin. Oh, thank you. I think this is honestly like a bit of like the heat and the, you know, natural like oil coming out in, at the moment. So thank you for that. That's really sweet. Um, let's have a look. Uh, 
you have an allergy and eczema and that's why I got my eye bags by rubbing my eyes oh bless you that is really difficult actually I think um, the system D would be really nice and soothing and cooling for your eyes and it will actually help to prevent that itching as well um, that's what's really nice about system D is because of the cer the ceramides in it so very similar to um, the instant karma and the light fantastic those ceramides are going to help with your your barrier support um, but then also um, um, like I said, like the ceramic head cooling down that area as well um, and strengthening your skin is going to really help with that irritated area. So maybe give that a go. Also do keep it moisturised. So maybe an eye cream at night time, like the, the um, Feather Canyon and then the System D in the morning, that might be really helpful as well. Um, but like cold compresses would be really quite nice. So like um, if you can get like a flannel or like one of our cloths and just like dampen that in like cool water and just like lay that over, that would be quite nice as well. Anything just to kind of like soothe the skin and that will help with the itching as well. Um, let's have a look. Oh, oh, thank you, Rosie, for answering a question for me. That's really sweet. I love you guys. You're being interactive. This is brilliant. Right. Um, can you use after sun on the face? Um, as a face moisturizer, yep, yeah, you can. You can use our S, uh, sorry, our after sun on the face as well if you want to. Um, rose oil would be a really nice alternative though, um, just to kind of get that repair and regeneration into the skin. But yeah, absolutely. Um, you can even mix like the rose oil into like your moisturizer at night time. That's what I did when I was on holiday. I was mixing the rose oil into my moisturizer every single evening because I needed the hydration and I definitely needed the repair. Um, so yeah. Um, but you can absolutely use the after sun on your on your face as well. Um, so yes, let's have a look. Oils are good for hyperpigmentation. The rosehip oil and actually mixed with the vitamin C would be really good. Um, but yeah, I spoke about those two earlier about how they would essentially enhance each other, but definitely for pigmentation. Also make sure that you're exfoliating regularly, so one to two times a week, just to help those um, new healthy cells to come to the surface so that you're regenerating properly. Um, otherwise, we tend to have a block with um, the functionality of our skin and the way that it actually functions. So um, you want to make sure that Everybody should be exfoliating, but particularly if you've got um, pigmentation, just allowing those new healthy cells to come to the surface and getting rid of the old ones and then treating it with something like the rosehip oil um, and or vitamin C um, would be really helpful there. Um, right, guys, I can't believe how long this session has been. I hope this has been really, really helpful. Um, I know that there's a few questions that I haven't got round to. So, um, if you want an answer to them, just pop them over to support at pieskincare.com and uh, we will be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Um, but I am going to let you guys get on with the rest of your evening now. Um, I've got a dog that I need to walk as well, so he'll be moaning. Um, but um, I hope you really enjoyed the show. Like I said, any questions I haven't got round to, email them to support at pieskincare.com and we'll get back to you. Um, of course, if you want to have a chat with me or Holly, um, we do have availability this week for um, free skin consultations. So do book yourselves in if you feel like you want um, a bit more advice on whether it's um, summer SOS or it might be a skin condition or routine in general, um, definitely do book in with those. We've got 30 minutes and 10 minutes. So do book yourselves in if you feel you need it. Um, they can be really, really helpful and they can just help you navigate products um, and kind of quieten down the noise in the beauty industry because, you know, less is definitely more, I promise you. Um, don't forget the offer. So we've got 20% off a lot of the products that I mentioned on today's show. Um, so have a look, see if you want anything. It's valid for the next 24 hours. So if you do want something valid for the next 24 hours with the code, oh, hold on a second. <clears throat> Just as I'm ending the show, I get like a bit of like a coughing fit. There we go. 20% um, off with the code hot stuff. So I kind of feel like I need to do that with that kind of code because it's like hot stuff. But yes, um, you'll never forget it. I promise you. So 20% off all those summer essentials with the code hot stuff and it's valid for the next 24 hours. There is um, the link um, pinned to the, the chat um, just for easy access to all of those products. Um, so yeah, 24 hours 
from now. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I know this one was quite a long session. We've been going for 50 minutes, so thank you for staying for so long. Um, I hope it was really informative and helpful for you. Um, but like I said, if you need any further advice, do get in touch with us either via um, email, chat, or booking for a consultation. We'll be more than happy to help you as always. Um, but yeah, until next time, enjoy the rest of your evenings and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.